That sun is really bright, but guess what guys? Today's not about the sun. Today is about my favorite place in Kodiak, Pasag Shack area. I spend so much money and gas coming here almost every day, especially in the summertime, but it's been a beautiful February and I have had to get out. This light is absolutely beautiful right now and uh, I'm gonna show you why this is my favorite place in Kodiak. All right guys, the sun is setting. Everything is just absolutely beautiful right now. I'm about to take off the drone again. Um, Pasag Shack is not only a beautiful spot if you come to visit Kodiak, I'm almost willing to say it is worth coming to Kodiak to see, especially on a night like this or in the summertime when people are fishing in the river. It's just an absolutely gorgeous place. The little town over here, the little community, really really gorgeous there's a cabin which looks better at sunrise little a-frame cabin really nice but let me get this drone up before i lose all my daylight here uh let's see what we could do oh no the the wind is hitting the the wind is hitting the lake here it was just perfect reflection one second ago that is that is a cool that is a cool sky whoa I might actually end up going further down the road for a better drone shot. And uh, this, man, this guy was, I came back this way because there was a nice reflection. And it's just gone like that. Okay, let me see if I can find a better shot because that was not that ripply. All right, well, that sun is heading behind those clouds and it might not light up as good as I wanted. This water right here is a little more reflective, this river. Up at the lake there, it was not reflective at all. So I think I'm gonna get my drone up one more time, <clears throat> go back there a little bit, 
and get my shot that I really like looking this way. The only issue is it's those clouds that I want and it might not be lit up. So I might not get the shot that I want, but just an absolute really pretty night. Um, I thought there would be potential for a little better clouds, but I got a feeling though, when that sun goes down a little further, it's not going to be as, uh, as vibrant. So let me get this drone up one more time here, probably the last time, and uh, maybe these clouds could light up a little bit, we'll, we'll see. I just landed the drone. Let me just uh, pick it up here. I'll just put it on this picnic table. I'm gonna walk down to the beach I, or the river here. Um, this is the Passag Shack River at the mouth here. And did a time lapse, but those clouds really did diminish. Um, pretty cool. I bet towards town it's gonna look really cool. Like a nice like uh, pastel in about 20 minutes or so. So I'm doing this time lapse here on the, with my R5. Got a reflection and whatnot, but I don't think it's gonna turn out to be anything crazy. But it's crazy that this river in the summertime is just full of people all the time. It's a uh, Sag Shack, uh, it's a state thing. You have to pay your fee or whatever to be here. I just realized, look at my tripod. It does not look no wonder it fell yesterday. It does not look stable at all. But yeah, so what's great about this Passag Shack area is if you go the other way, that's Chiniac, or if you make a left at the T, that's Cody. You go to Kodiak. And then when you come this way towards Passag Shack, there's Passag Shack Point right here uh, that I'm pointing to. And then around that corner is Surfers Beach and Fossil Beach. And I've been there. If you haven't seen that, subscribe to the channel. I'm always there. Um, probably have like w at least one video a month or something there. Just because I go there doesn't mean I'm going to record a video. But really pretty night when you don't have gloves in Alaska, you know it's not that cold. So when I was driving here, I got a text message alert about a northern lights storm. And if my next video is a northern lights video, it's because it was probably tonight. We'll see if, if that happens. The clouds don't look too promising. There's a chance, but you never really know unless you go out, but hopefully it does clear up. And hopefully you guys discovered why I love this area so much. The nighttime light it hits those mountains really nice, especially when there's like a dark sky above it and uh, the white mountains looks really good. It looks really good in the summertime too when it's like perfectly green, but yeah, between Mid-September to about Ju mid-June, early to mid-June, it's pretty brown. So I've been trying to figure out color combinations I like for photography to make the browns not look so bad. And I think I found a pretty good color style that I like. When I edit my photos, not everything I want to look the same. I want whatever I was feeling to make the photo look. Sometimes I like a natural look, sometimes I like make the look, the browns look real dark and moody. I'm probably gonna go ahead and get this, oh my God, that's so not stable at all. So I'm gonna get this camera going off the tripod, start to head back home. I don't think much else is gonna happen for the rest of the daytime here. I'm just gonna head over back into Kodiak if you guys have never been to Kodiak and you come here because of this video, let me know. That would be pretty cool. Some of those cabins you can rent back there 
I just got another text message. We are in a KP5 storm right now. So, fingers crossed for some clear-ish skies tonight. Even if I just get a little bit through the clouds, I'll be happy. So tired of being clouded then. This has probably been the worst winter time. But I'm gonna go ahead, head back into town. If anything else happens, I'll let you know, but I'll probably end it here. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.